Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, IIT Guwahati. Yes, a uh, very important uh, stint. It was my first research internship uh, experience. In fact, uh, the first time I had an exposure to work um, in my chemical engineering for attending to chemical engineering in a firm outside Jadavpur University. It was IIT Guwahati. I went for a summer internship uh, stint of one month one and a half months at IIT Guwahati in the month of uh, around May to June 2017. So I'm talking about six years ago. Now the things could have changed a bit, uh, but I'm going to give you an essence of how the internship was. What are the basic things that you can expect from the campus? How is the entire pedagogy, the structure and how is basically life, hostel life? Because we stayed uh, one month uh, in the hostel of IIT uh, Guwahati itself. And um, how do you expect that uh, hostel to be? And uh, how is the hostel life? How is the campus life? So uh, talking about the campus life, first of all, it's a very green campus. Uh, one of the greenest uh, campuses that I have seen, I have been to uh, quite a bit of educational campuses in including Jadapur University, IIT, uh, Kharagpur, even I've been to IIT Delhi and IIT Bombay once or twice and a few IIMs as well. But what I have seen of IIT Guwahati, since the natural landscape uh, of the college is in uh, the forest, so it is a cut out university in the forests itself. Uh, so the natural essence, you know, uh, that natural greenery is there extremely extremely well it is one of the most beautiful campuses that you uh, can find among the iits uh, it is said that iit mandi is the most beautiful iit campus and uh, second is iit guwahati and i completely second that i have uh, not gone to iit mandi but i had the privilege of going to iit guwahati excellent excellent ambience first of all the winner is the campus ambience the natural beauty of the campus in itself is the winner second uh, winner of the campus is the beautiful river of brahmaputra that flows right across the <coughs> right outside the uh, the the campus so it's right beside the campus you go out of the gate and you will see uh, you can uh, you can actually go to brahmaputra riverside we did uh, we had clicked a lot of pictures there spent a lot of time there completely beautiful breeze blowing out because of which the weather in itself is also extremely beautiful at iit guwahati we went at a time when mostly it was raining in the northeast and we faced a lot of rains there and the fact that it was raining con constantly and even when we talked to the natives of the place we understood that the landscape and the presence of the brahmaputra river makes the weather very suitable throughout the year so weather is the second winner here so you can understand northeast its own beauty and the weather in itself is the winner apart from that the campus food in certain mess is very good the students of one mess um, at least in the summer internship time we could go to other messes uh, so we only had a couple of messes open out of which uh, brahmaputra was there brahmaputra hostel mess was open and one more uh, hostel i do not remember explicitly which hostel uh, but they served really really good food uh, if you know you would drop in the comment section because i have forgotten the hostels names but uh, a couple of hostels uh, hostel messes were only open and some of them had really good food brahmaputra food was decent as you can expect in iit uh, i would say uh, food quality was better than iit kharagpur if i compare iit to iit i have been to iit kharagpur i have had food there in the triple m hostel and i have been to iit guwahati and had food there in the brahmaputra hostel and they tell that brahmaputra is decent not one of the best messes similar for triple m as well not one of the best messes uh, but if we con con consider head to head uh, brahmaputra is way ahead of triple m at least any day and the facility there is a basic veg meal you can have as per uh, uh, the payment that you make uh, uh, during uh, the, the buying uh, you can either buy the coupons if you are an outside member which we did we bought some coupons a uh, basic veg coupon for the students uh, the, I think the food is available for free uh, since we were in the summer holidays it had to be bought with a coupon and you can add extra chicken uh, or fish you can take or egg you can take by providing uh, one extra coupon by buying one extra coupon so that was the facility so food i would say decent uh, the staying facility in the hostel it was a single accum accommodation room which was brilliant you know i didn't expect a single accommodation room they told that this might turn into a double accommodation room if some person comes in so i don't know if they give sim single accommodation room or they go for usually the double accommodation room for the permanent students but for the interns for the summer interns 
returns all of us got uh, single accommodation rooms and uh, single rooms with one single camp bed type structure and we can rent out the mattresses and the pillows uh, we did that i think for a month it costs about 25 to 50 rupees to to, to uh, rent out a mattress and um, a pretty comfortable stay privacy is always maintained i got a room at the ground floor and uh, some of our batchmates got a room at the second floor or top floor as well um the there is a canteen facility inside the hostel itself there they used to cook chow mein and they used to have some rotis uh, and chapatis and uh, uh, some some fried rice as well uh, maggi uh, so you can always have those in the canteen that is always open um, regarding the washing facility uh, in every hostel there are certain washing machines that are kept that was the first time in fact that i was using the washing machine and uh, i remember explicitly that uh, i used to go and wash my clothes every week in in that washing machine so there is a common washing machine room for that so that facility is also there um i definitely believe that there would be other laundry facilities as well but for me uh, it was the common uh, uh, common what do you call it uh, the washing machine room that i used utilized and now coming to the pedagogy and the structure so we were particularly in the technology park uh, we didn't go to the chemical engineering department but we saw that cluster so basically the rooms are very uh, good so we went to some of the research facilities the labs they are in particular brilliant you have connection like uh, um, uh, those those big projection rooms as well we sat in one of the rooms and discussed certain things with our uh, uh, with our manager manager in the sense that our guide uh, who was at that point of time the head of the department as well dr bishu bodo mondol uh, we did a research internship under him and we were working on determination of the height of a packed bed tower and the kinetics of the packed bed tower in an absorption column where basically the uh, co2 uh, was being absorbed by the amine solution different amine solution piperazine was there piperazine ethylamine was there and uh, then mea they would call it mea mda mda uh, 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 pza pz different kinetics we had to jot down the chemical kinetics the reaction how it would occur the reaction mechanisms and uh, then we would also have to define which reaction is fastest which reaction is slowest how the uh, intermediary ions that are formed or the structures that uh, through which the carbon is getting chemi absorbed on the uh, surface of the amines which was one is the most stable which is the easiest to absorb and also to dissolve because they would then extract the co2 by passing steam and uh, having a stripping section where the steam would strip out the co2 so at a high temperature which would strip out easily which would give up the co2 at 125 degrees celsius and then at lower temperatures it was actually take out the co2 from n2 that is from flue gas into itself so chemisorption and then stripping as well uh, desorption so absorption and desorption both the kinetic cycles we had to jot down and a lot of technical stuff to crunch on the ntog and htog to determine the height of the ideal height of the absorption tower and the stripping tower as well so this was the basically the project that the ntpc the national thermal power corporation was also involved in the project it was a funded project that was at iit guwahati so they were working on the separation of co2 from uh, flue gas uh, so basically they can make use of n2 as an inert gas and co2 in some other purpose full use so the, the, this was the mechanism so that was a pilot plant that we worked in so it was a really good exposure and great work over a one one and a half months time we basically stayed in the pilot plant set up in the lab uh, in the technology park uh, everywhere in the campus there used to be a canteen so you can easily go hop in there and have some maggi tea that is a common thing common food that is available in all the canteens so that is always there so beautiful campus to roam around to chill out to study uh, the perfect ambience the food the hostel facilities everything we felt um, great out there and uh, the only thing that we felt was the uh, life outside iit campus uh, we felt that it wasn't that busy because iit guwahati outside iit guwahati we never felt that charm uh, in terms of facilities uh, we wouldn't get much of the facilities outside iit guwahati uh, at least at, at the point we we at the point of time we went the shops might be closed for summers because the students were not there but having said that the general infrastructure outside the college is not that great so you will feel a little secluded from the society because you are staying in the campus and there are not much spaces to 
rotate or roam around unlike the other IITs like IIT Delhi or IIT Bombay where you would see a lot of chaos outside the campus as well in fact IIT Kharagpur for a matter of fact in that aspect uh, as well is lacking in that sense so IIT Guwahati they are also lacking IIT Kharagpur also I think locality wise you know now it is developing a little bit it has developed over the years uh, but still I believe that there is a lot of improvement that can be done uh, because if you leave the IITs the other infrastructural facilities are not that great you wouldn't find a hospital nearby uh, to IIT Kharagpur in particular and same kind of feeling I got when I was in IIT Guwahati if you know the place better definitely you comment in the comment section some of the students might oppose to this and say that there are some really good facilities out there but whatever my experience is that that says it all and uh, regarding the research facilities and the campus facilities I went to the academic complexes they were brilliant the labs are well equipped and brilliant uh, I have not been to the labs of IIT Bombay and Delhi which are told to be the advanced ones uh, but uh, com com considering the standards that we saw at Jadapur University that seemed like heaven at that point of time because it is centrally funded as well so we saw better uh, uh, instruments like UV spectrometer and all of that in bulk numbers there was not one single instrument but multiple of them in multiple labs uh, so definitely the facilities are there the pedagogy we happened to talk to a couple of professors only uh, we felt was good and uh, the PhD scholars hostels also we explored we felt that those were pretty decent pretty good uh, so you get a lot of exposure there as well the seniors were very cooperative uh, we made some great connections uh, till date we have those connections connections cherished with us that was my experience very short period of time one one and a half months only the students uh, of IIT Guwahati who have taken course, admission in the BTEC course I happen to talk with a couple of them seems like they are brilliant but not much interested in the core uh, coursework and which is very common and surprising at that point of time but they probably realized that computer science is the way ahead or technology is the way ahead and not really the core chemical engineering as such because of which they stopped focusing on the core aspects and they started coding and software related stuff um, which is fair enough we basically got stuck with the core related stuff which we now feel that we could have focused on software and we could have learned a lot of data analytics in our college days as well but nevertheless that was not our coursework we were there to study chemical engineering we did study chemical engineering but what we felt with the minimum amount of interaction with the engineering students in um, you know uh, the academic coursework of chemical engineering at IIT Guwahati we felt that they are not really oriented oriented or not really into chemical engineering is what we felt but that was my experience very short experience sweet experience beautiful experience we faced a lot of rains there the weather the climate the ambience the people uh, the pedagogy the professor the equipment the facilities are all brilliant uh, also special mention that there is a, a complex where you can have McDonald's and then there is a big hotel as well every campus has that like IIT Guwahati also used to have a, a chamber where there were multiple uh, uh, cafe, cafe coffee day was there also there is cafe coffee day in IIT Guwahati as well subsidized rate uh, which is not uh, there at IIT Kharagpur I think the subsidy has not been um, prolifically kept forward but uh, definitely IIT Guwahati has subsidized rate and they have a complex where you can actually uh, get Baskin Robbins say Laker you will get a lot of brands McDonald's and everything you can have your uh, food there and uh, that was that uh, I think it is a good uh, campus to rotate around you need to have cycles it's a very big campus just like IIT Kharagpur you need to have cycles to roam around the campus and there are high chances that you might get lost in the woods as well but that's a definitely also a brilliant experience because there are a lot of lakes without the within the campus as well which are beautiful you can just sit around get lost in the ambience and spend a beautiful beautiful time there so whoever is going to that campus they are going to the heavens of IIT so uh, that was it from my side if you have any additions you can add in the comment section if you liked it like it share it with your friends subscribe to the channel hit the bells icon for regular updates because we will keep on bringing videos on like this on life experiences on management experiences on technological experiences on this channel exclusively that's it for today thank you very much